CBSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. So first thing we need to do is that we'll run PKG update to bring in the latest packages. And after that's done, we can now install OpenBox itself. We'll just speed through this because it did take a while at 15 times speed. Right. We're now going to install obconf and obmenu. Obmenu uh, will soon be deprecated and moved, uh, removed from FreeBSD, so you might want to reconsider installing it. But obconf is uh, definitely a useful tool. Right, that was quick. There's a little warning at the bottom telling you it uses Python 2.7, so that's why they're removing it. Uh, next, we install Slim. We'll configure this later, but just for now, we'll get it installed. It doesn't take too long to do this. And now we need to add the Slim enable to the rc.com file. I'm going to use sysrc. You can edit the file itself if you wish, but I'm going to try using sysrc from now on. There we go. I've turned it off for now because if it doesn't work, I don't want to be stuck into a loop if you boot into the system. Now we're going to make some configuration files. Uh, having tested it wasn't there, we need to make config. And then a subdirectory of config is openbox, where you can put all the configuration files for openbox. Now we need to copy the openbox config files into the newly created folder. I will leave all this in the description box um, below the video. Let me go back into root. Now to install Tint2, and it really is as simple as this. It doesn't drag in any dependencies, so that's quite good. Open the normal user again. And we're just going to, we're gonna change the auto start in the open box uh, configuration in order to get Tint2 to start up as soon as we log in. So I'll just copy down what I'm doing. And like I say, I'll leave these in the description box below. So we've got Tint2, obviously, which is the uh, the bar at the bottom. We're going to have it so we have a terminal pop-up as soon as you log in, which is always useful. You can change the 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 details in these particular uh, configuration if you wish to match your screen size or your uh, just general taste so you've got x clock or useful to another time although it does tell you on the tint 2 panel but it's good to have it on the screen right you start x and if everything works all right you'll get a there we go an open box login and you can see the X term and X clock have already started, as well as the panel. We're using ZFS on this particular test machine, so there's the file structure and top. Using 77 megabytes. And there's the Tint2 panel at the bottom. So it all looks to be working all right. This is the OB conf if you want to uh, change the theme or just change any other, just general aesthetics. 
change the number of desktops, etc. Very nice. And now we just get on with the rest of the configuration. We want to be starting DBus um, as soon as the system starts because uh, there's one or two dependencies that require it. Uh, we're just going to copy the X sessions to Slim as a basic configuration. Takes a while to type out, do apologize. Again, you can alter slim.com to suit your own particular needs, but as a sort of skeleton um, frame, it, it will get the job done. We're just going to make a change to the open box entry in the X sessions folder. This is how Slim can start up um, open box when you log in. We're going to add encoding uh, UTF, so um, your characters look correct. The open box, I'll leave that as it is. Uh, we'll just change this comment if you wish. Just shorten it down a bit. And the rest looks okay. We don't need to do anything with these. Right, and we'll just save it. There we go. Dbus will be automatically started next time you restart the machine because of that entry in rc.conf. We'll start it uh, manually now. And then we'll try Slim. And log in. Looks good. And Slim should automatically put us into Openbox. And there we go. Very nice. You can add PC, ManFM, LeafPad, GPIC View, MUPDF, XFBurn, and Falcon to get a basic working system. Uh, you can make other choices, of course, but if you want a lightweight system, they'll be perfect. You can customize it, change the themes, download themes, everything you want to do. Uh, but this is just really how to get a basic open box install going in FreeBSD, and it's, it's really not difficult. And that was a newly installed FreeBSD as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.